Good morning, freediving family. So training has now intensified. I started my depth progression. So I've started to creep down back to my old PB of 105 meters. This morning I'm gonna do an 80 meter dive just for a bit of depth adaptation, slowly working my way down. And I'm gonna take you through exactly what happens in the lead up to and after a dive. So this is a pretty standard breakfast. Um, I do, I eat like a, a bowl of oats every morning about three hours before my dive. I don't know why I waited until I'd almost finished the oats until filming this, but I just forgot. But I eat a lot of oats, like a huge bowl of oats. I start my morning warm up by rolling myself out on my foam roller. Then I do a little bit of stretching, nothing too intense. A little bit of breathing exercises, once again nothing intense, just getting the body moving, getting the lungs breathing, opening up the chest. Then me and my dive buddies, we hop on our bikes and we zip off down to the dive site. Rotan is really beautiful and these are the roads that we drive along to get to our diving. One of the ways that I stop myself from getting nervous is by just having a lot of fun and stuffing around on the boat. I try not to think too much about the dive, I try just to think about happy things, just to put myself in a good mental space. And then I do one warm up dive. My warm up dive is a super slow, easy 20 meter dive just to help kick in that mammalian dive reflex and also put me in a good mental zone for the dive I'm about to do. And they usually feel pretty good. Then I make my way over to the platform and I get ready for my deep dive. The line is set to the exact depth that I'm diving to and when I'm ready, I go. The safety divers meet me as I'm on my way back up and we swim the last portion of the dive together so that I'm okay. And then I'm on the surface breathing again. Fun, fun, fun. After the dive, I breathe 100% O2 at six meters. I didn't actually breathe any oxygen after that 80 meter dive, but I thought I'd include some footage here from after a 90 meter dive to give you the idea. So I just got out of my dive, I did uh, 80 meters with my monofin today and it felt beautiful. It was one of those dives that sort of like everything felt really, really well and it just sets you up to make you feel like yes, the next one is going to be good too. So beautiful, beautiful dive, felt super easy and a lot of fun. So I'm just hanging out now, waiting for them to finish. Good, good fun. Look where we are. What a beautiful part of the world. Oh, it is lunchtime. I usually try to eat as soon as possible after I get off the boat. So I'm always like on the boat like, ah, uh, guys, are we leaving yet? Uh, can we go yet? Is everyone finished? Just trying to go and eat lunch as soon as possible. So today I have some leftovers from yesterday, which is basically just a big veggie mishmash. And I'll probably uh, boil up some eggs or like get a can of tuna out just to get some protein as well. Um, so this is my fuel. Uh, I, I mean, diet is so, so important. And I think that everyone is so different and there's no such thing as like, oh, this is the diet for free diving. But for me personally, I like to eat like a lot of vegetable carbohydrates. There's like a lot of sweet potato, a lot of potato, a lot of like beetroot, root vegetables, broccoli, like all the good stuff. That's what makes my body feel happy. So I do a workout like that um, almost every evening. The trick is to actually work out at an intensity that helps you maintain strength and fitness, but that doesn't make your legs and your body sore for the diving the next day. So that's pretty much a day of training for me. I have my pre-dive routine, what I do on my dive, my post-dive meal, and then my sort of evening workout. That's a day of training for me. Oh, look who has arrived. I'm here. Yes. So Erin's going to be staying with me until I think one day before the comp begins and then she has to go home. No. And go to work. No. No. <laughs> um, what? We're going to wake her up from her jet lag. We're going to go for a bit of a fun dive. Something that we never really do is film like actual scenes. We just go around and play with the camera. So we've got this idea that we're going to film like a fight scene. So we're going to go and do that. So it should be a bit of fun. Wow, you look mighty sunburned. <laughs>
Shana. So, Adzi and I have done some exploring. We usually go over the other side where it's much calmer, where all the divers go. But we're hardcore, so we've come on this side to explore. Super hardcore. Yeah. And we're basically walking on coral, which is pretty like sharp. It's, it's like a dead coral reef, and, and we're just going to sort of hop in and uh, have a look at what's underneath there. Eh? So, we don't know how we're getting out, but we know how we're getting in. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, the cruiser in the distance. He'll definitely turn around and save us. I was surprised at how good the visibility was and also how beautiful the other side of the island was. I kind of assumed that because there was so much swell and wind all the time, that it would be all hazy and rocky. But the reef is actually beautiful. There's all these fan corals around and soft corals and it's a really diverse reef actually. We kept finding all these little fingers and cracks through the reef which is so much fun to explore. Doing my very best here not to touch the reef. It's kind of hard without fins. Say hello to my little green friend. That was good fun. Good fun climbing out to <laughs> hectic little area to jump out of the ocean from. Uh, we did all right. <laughs> Only a few cuts. It's a little sharp. Matching matching red scooters. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm having another rest day now. Pretty much spent the whole day swinging in the hammock. So just to give you an idea of where I'm up to in my progression, yesterday I did a 98 meter dive. So it means I've got seven meters between now and when I close the gap to my current PB. So everything's going really well, diving is going great. Uh, other competitors are starting to arrive to the island now because I got here a little bit early. If you guys are keen to see more about what we get up to before the comp, in the lead up to the comp and the competition itself, make sure you subscribe and keep watching these videos because I'll be releasing a lot of videos about the Freediving World Championships over the next four weeks. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the water somewhere. Have a good one.